purposes in the coming school year, I would like to share some information with you about Ceramics 2. I am the only teacher that teaches Ceramics 2. So if you take Ceramics 2, you will have me. In order to take Ceramics 2, you need to pass Ceramics 1 with a C- minus or higher. It is a semester-long course, and it does count as one art credit towards an academic honors or Core 40 diploma. In Ceramics 2, we are focused on expanding your ceramic knowledge on the pottery wheel techniques, glazing techniques, and improving the hand building techniques that you learned in Ceramics 1. Student projects will be more advanced, and students will have much more creative freedom with each project. Uh, you're going to continue to expand your use of the ceramics tools and become more comfortable with manipulating the clay. We'll be working with the same materials as we did in Ceramics 1, clay, the pottery wheel. You'll have many more opportunities to use the pottery wheel. Glaze, and there will be more glazing options. You're going to still be using various ceramics tools, and I will still be the one to run the kilns. Here, is a, um, here are some examples of student work from Ceramics 2 and a list of projects that are typically done in Ceramics 2. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to reach out to me through email, Schoology message, or stop by my room, ALC 201. Once you've taken Ceramics 2, you are then able to take Ceramics 3, which is the final course in the Ceramics um, flowchart. Um, if after Ceramics 2, you decide you want to try out a different art course. We have so many other options at Avon High School, and I would be more than happy to speak with you about what might be a good option for you.